there are only two reasons to examine the iris for non-specialists. Number one is to ensure that the pupil formed by the iris is round. If the pupil is not round, it may signify active or previous trauma, active or previous inflammation. The other thing we need to check is that the iris is equal in both eyes. If you notice that one pupil is larger than the other by more than one millimeter, this might signify non-significant disease such as previous inflammation, previous trauma or previous Aedes pupil. However, if the larger pupil is associated with a ptosis, that is to say a droopy eyelid, and particularly if there is a misalignment of the eyes causing double vision, you should search for a cause of a third nerve palsy, such as though that due to a brain tumour or a berry aneurysm of the circle of Willis. If there is a ptosis, that's a, a droopy eyelid, on the side of the smaller pupil, such as in this patient, you need to look for a cause of Horner's syndrome, which may be due to a lesion in any part of the sympathetic pathway from hypothalamus down past the neck to the apex of the lung and back up into the eye. And that really is all you need to say about the iris on your routine examination of your patient's eye.